In this video I'm going to show you a few very common causes why your diff lock can stack on on a CAT 535 grapple well skeeter. Let's get started. First time to the channel guys, please subscribe. Very appreciated that. Okay, let's climb up. All right. This machine has 13,000 hours and yep. I'm going to show you. Okay, let's turn the key on. Our gauges are swiping up. We're booting. There we go. All right. By the way, this uh, hydraulic temperature gauge doesn't work. Manually, you can turn your diff lock on and diff lock off. And sometimes it doesn't matter if you switch it on and off, this diff lock light might stuck on and your log differential means in, is engaged. And uh, let's further it up. Okay, I'm on park and my diff lock is on. We're up at the switch back here. The road is going up the hill to that trail. We have to turn sharp with the lock dip on you won't be able to do it and uh, let's show you what it does now my diff lock is off if i turn it on as you can see it cannot turn machine is not turning and as soon as you go wide turns you will hear that binding sound that's why you have to turn it off and go, no problem. There's two spots to look for the issue. First is your switch. They know to go bad, they're worn out. Dust can get in and those contacts, they burn over time. Check the switch first, and if switch is okay, we're going back to the diff lock solenoid. Oh, yeah. Let's just go out. Okay, it will be different from make and model of one machine to another. And uh, what was wrong with my skinner? Here we go. Is diff lock solenoid let's go a little bit higher and you always want to go with the easiest simple things to check this diff lock solenoid is located on the right hand side and you remove this side cap bottom or the bottom side panel and over here we have an accumulator some hydraulic lines are coming to the valve. We have pilot lines and we have our solenoid on the back. Let's turn the flasher on, you can see. Here we go. We plug this guy. And there's a, as you know, the solenoid needs the power and ground to operate properly. Make sure you have a power and ground there when you switch it on and off and uh, check the solenoid and over time they known to get sticky and that might be your problem most likely that guy can cause a problem well if it's helpful thumbs up thank you so much for all your time watching this video if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below and uh, see you soon bye bye i know my solenoid eventually needs to be replaced i don't have a replacement part right now i just did a cleanup checked everything seems like it back to life it works and uh hope for the best